Hello. Hi. I love this bar. So, dumb question. Why is it that we have access to all these helicopters and planes and all this stuff? Why don't we just take yep. one of them and go get help? Yeah, that would make sense, you know? Like, why, you actually bring the army. Right, yeah, why don't we go to a place that has a phone and call the National Guard? You, you know, I don't get it. Yeah, I understand if we had, uh, like, we were completely locked off and, and we didn't have any air or barely any vehicles, I could kind of see that. But yeah, I don't know. You have a helicopter and planes? I haven't got a clue. Yeah, it, it seems a bit odd. Just feel like they, uh, want to do this. Maybe they created the cult. The it got a little out of hand. Yeah, it got a little out of hand, and now they can't it, control it. But they don't want to say that they had a mistake. Because, you know, that'll look really bad on them. So they have to take care of this themselves. But there's so few people. I like it, we just left them there. They took us down here, they were all nice people, and then we took the helicopter. There's a silo a little bit farther down. Yeah. Does it say have rockets or anything? No. It's got no defensive oh. anything There's on it. There's a prisoner van right below us. Oh, well, it's unfortunate for those prisoners. <laughs> Hope they didn't need to be rescued right away. Yeah, hopefully their torture hasn't yet begun. I think just being in the van is probably torture enough. Hey, you don't know. They might have candy in that van. They didn't have flowers when we were in the last one. Flowers and I mean, bullets. It is possible. Yeah, they might have candy in some of them. Maybe cotton candy. Ooh. You know, I wouldn't mind in that case. I also, we are cotton. really hauling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, you stuck it into the... Oh, it's on fire. It's fine. You got wedged into the sign. <laughs> the and all. It's supposed to do that. It's problem. it's fine. We're trapped! We're fucking trapped! I swear to god, I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch, John C. You see them Peggy's take off of my... Oh, we had a helicopter. But we a definitely are trapped now. That was our only chance of getting out. I'd go myself, but my wife's pregnant and due any second and... I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. I mean, without that plane, we're fucked. Please. I, oh, I'm lock picking this thing. I'm sorry. I don't like getting emotional. Name's Nick, by the way. Look, if I know the cult, they've taken my plane to John Seed's range. It's got the only other airstrip big enough to land the thing. I know it's a lot to ask, but I'm desperate, partner. I think it's a lot to ask, yeah, for somebody I don't really... Don't, have you even met him yet? No. You think that helicopter's still You just ask random strangers to do your thing. On fire. It of works, but it, it was on fire. It was not on fire. It's just smoking. Fire, smoke. We're all gonna die. That sounds legit. What is that... Uh, you it's repair the thing, cool. Yeah, it's it's uh, the computer telling you that the plane uh, helicopter is about to blow up. Ah, see, I was right. Yes, but it wasn't. That's what they all say until they blow up. Oh, oh God, we're gonna die again. Oh what, God. Are we caught on the oh, sign? Would you get let yeah, me out of here? On the sign. Thank you. <laughs> Physics. <laughs> I wedged in the sign, almost went in vertical, and now you're just fine. What are physics? Who spots us? Who's up here? I don't know, but hopefully they don't have guns, because, like I said, this thing ain't got jack. All I have is a pistol, which isn't very helpful. Well, and I can't even use the guns I have, because I'm flying. True. All we have is a pistol. Um, what the hell? Hey, this is an outpost. Yeah. This is more than an outpost, though. I'm pretty sure this is John Seed's ranch. Oh. 
Yeah, it's at seed range, it looks like. I'm assuming that's for John Seed. Oh, that's a lot of lasers. Yeah, it's not lasers, but sniper. I don't have a sniper. Uh, I don't either. Oh crap! I'm about to. Oh, I just died. Did you get hit by the snipers? I got hit by like six different people. Oh, oh, mortar fire! Oh god! Oh, everything went really wrong here. Um, you gonna try and get me, or do oh, I need to give up? I may want to give up. I don't think I can get over there. I was heading over there, but there's like five people. And mortars keep coming down. Okay, I'm giving up. That means you gotta I'm hold out to for 20 right seconds. Now. Oh! Oh god. Can I lay down? Oh, I can't lay down. Oh, that sucks. Oh god. Oh, another mortar fire. Now you're out in the open, and you're running away from the... What are you doing? I'm trying to run away from the mortars! <laughs> Mortars never hurt no one. Oh, when you have like no health, they definitely hurt. <laughs> Meaning that they hurt everyone. Oh, you're back now. Oh, okay. and they called reinforcements <laughs> to all the. Oh yeah, they've been red for a while. See, this is why I want to have a sniper rifle on me, and I just don't. Oh, I'm dead. Um. Give up or cling. Uh, if I give up, I don't have any more med packs left. If I get anywhere close to there, I'm gonna. I don't think they see me right now, so I'm kind of just staying here. Oh, oh, mortar's coming down. Uh. Oh, that mortar, ow. Is. If we're able to find the mortar person, that would be very nice. Uh, that fire. Oh, oh god, they have a fire. You. Yeah. Over here. They no, eventually it. spread, but they let's try to get out of the way right now. Oh, you back now. Cool. Oh, there's someone. I'm in one of the buildings. Oh. Oh. Nice one. Another one coming. What? Do they have like air support? Where, where are the, where are the, the shots? Mortar, I don't know. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. That's what we're trying to run from for a while. We're climbing up a ladder. Okay, they have a map. I see the plane, but I'm unsure of where the mortifier is coming from. I got it. Oh, there we go. I don't know where the mortar was coming from. He was just running. Decess. This ranch, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. I wouldn't mind. But it has a proper. lane. It does, yeah. Are you in the hangar? Yeah, I'm in the hangar. Oh, uh, I guess I gotta run all the way around here. Don't know if there's a way I can open it. Like from the bottom or not, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm here. You in? Oh, I'm on the back seat. Yep. Yep.
don't know if I trust this guy that we just met. You yeah, I don't know. He has the right idea, leaving. Yeah, well, if his idea were to leave and get help, then maybe I'd agree. Yeah, I think he's leaving. I think he's just being a selfish person who's leaving, but right. yeah, leaving and getting help, yeah. Like, I know, like, you know, thousands of lives and everything are being potentially tortured, but I'm leaving. I would really like it for this plane to move faster. Like, oh, want me to jump down. out? Am I weighing too much? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> It'd be funny if I jump out and everything and then I'll be getting like a speed boost. Like, yep, told ya. It's quite claustrophobic in here. If you were like here in real life. Does weight matter on a plane? What? Well, I mean, I'm weight sure it matter on a plane. Yeah, I'm sure it matters to some degree, right? But like most of the resistance when you're traveling in a car or traveling in a plane, and you're just trying to maintain, you're not trying to do zero to sixty or something. Most of that is aerodynamic problems, right? Assuming the plane's aerodynamic yep. enough to move around, I don't think an extra three or four hundred pounds matters in the back seat. Probably not. Um, I feel like it maybe is more the issue of taking off. Like right. at the very beginning right. when you don't have the thing. If you can take off, I'm going to assume it's fine and it can maintain it just fine. I assume there's a weight limit on planes. I mean, I don't know why there wouldn't be, but I, I don't know much about them. I still haven't played the Microsoft Flight Simulator X, or not X, uh, I guess 2020 edition very much, because it's really awkward on a controller. I need an actual, like, proper flight controller, not a 360 controller. Really weird on there. You have an Xbox 360 controller? Well, not 360, I mean Xbox One or whatever you want to call it. Oh. That kind of controller on the um, flight simulator, it's a really weird controller. You really need, like, a flight stick. Hmm. I don't have. I have the game though because of the game pass. I mean, game runs terribly on it, but yeah. My computer does. Still, makes my goddamn blood boil that I Is that why you're building a new one? No. I mean, I, the CPU I think will help. I'm pretty sure it's more my graphics card. Can't hand it at this point. I'm not really sure which one it is. Hmm. The CPU, I should definitely help. Uh, my graphics card also... I mean, it's not bad, but it's not... A little dated, I guess, but... Five generations dated is much worse. Which is currently where my processor's at right now. It's five generations, essentially, behind. I'm surprised it lasted this long for... So long, and it's been overclocked this whole time. Oh god, we're gonna die. What am I destroying? Ah, uh, my soul. Clutch Nixon. Oh. Now, supposedly all my parts are supposed to be here by Friday. I thought some of them were going to be next week, but I was wrong. Nice. One's a flight sick. Um, but it is airstrip, which is yeah. yeah us. Someone's staring at the computer screen. I <laughs> yeah, just puking and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I have to finish this episode. <laughs> 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 
Just all over the screen. <laughs> Please like. Please like. like and subscribe <laughs> to enjoy more vomiting action. I can't find my controller. I can't find my mouse. I need help. Everywhere. <laughs> I'm just picturing Eddie Murphy in, uh, uh, oh shoot, what's the movie? Daddy Daycare, where he's staring at the bathroom after the kid says he missed. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen that, but yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, look at her. Son of a bitch, you did it. You did it, thank you. Kim, the plane's back. Come on, let's turn her around. Come on, grab on. I feel like I'm getting forced into this. Yeah, no kidding. I, I just no rescued your plane. You can't manage to turn this thing around by yourself. You know, this is the first time in a long time. I feel like shit's actually I feel like we're getting away. in the butt in the deal. I don't know what the deal is. What are we getting out of this? I don't know. Jim, Access to <laughs> his wife. I feel like we're helping know. him. But I don't know what we're getting at. <laughs> you know, this plane's been in my family for three generations. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't even know who you are. Jim, you uh, I believe he's told us 16 times his name is Nick Rye, and he's I leaving. That woman sometimes. But who's Nick Rye? Anyway, <laughs> that is a very deep question, sir. Who's his pride and joy? Who is Sparky Phantom? I made a few modifications over the years. That's a good question. Kim, would you just Apparently not that guy. I would hope not. What? Why does everyone in this game either have a really thick beard or a really crappy beard? There's not a lot in between. Actually, has anybody been clean shaven out here? Mm. I've all had a beard of some sort. I think most of them have a beard. I mean, it, except for the girls. But I was going to say most people in a cult oh, yeah, have I mean. a beard. Jim, you stay inside till I get <laughs> I mean, I don't know that as fact. Both of us but, have you know. a beard. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I do not have a beard. Sure. Tell yourself that. I just have some <laughs> scruff on my chin. That's something, yeah. <laughs> he actually just shaved my beard. <laughs> that hot, what does that mean? I still don't know who this person is. I guess here. we just protect this? Oh, we're just here now. Okay. There was something up here. Let me see. Can I loot him? Excuse me, fine gentlemen. Let me see what you have on your person. You had seven dollars. You are Let me a bomb. see your fine wares. Hi there, Keanu Reeves. Oh. Shopping. Not very nice. Keanu Reeves is awesome. Keanu Reeves is awesome? Yeah. No, John Wick is awesome. Kind of Reeves. I mean, oh, dude, I'm getting real. Tired John Wick of is real. <laughs> Die. Secure the hangar. So forget about his pregnant wife locked in the house. Secure his I guess she escaped. I guess. I don't know. If so, I don't know how she escaped, but. We I mean, if she was able to escape like that, it's kind of impressive. Can get on the roof? Watch these stairs. Uh, I'm gonna go behind the bar. I drink. Nothing. Oh my gosh, there's a few sniper rifle guys over here. Nope, I died. Hey, what? There were oh, uh, four snipers. I took, I took two out. Can you come get me? I'm on the roof. Yeah, I'm trying to come down the roof right now. You're a fire. 
fire bad. Hello. Where the heck am I looking at? Oh. You know, this whole time we've been fighting, we haven't used any of these freaking gasoline tanks sitting here. Drones, whatever you call them. No, we're trying to... We're trying to protect the environment, so it doesn't catch our fire. What environment? The trees. trees. The forest. The trees and forest? And we're trying to protect the cult. Oh, well that's weird. I wouldn't do that. That's at the nice. very, like the very end, you realize that you know what? This cult sounds good, so you join the cult. What? Twist. You does die. Not sound like something my character would do. I'm sorry, director, but my character would not do that. Too bad. Paycheck or no paycheck. Why are you not dying? I ran that way. Hmm. What about that dude? Can that dude die? Don't get too close to what? Nope, that dude's dead. So, when did that thing start having bombs on it? What, Nick's plane? I guess plane? it had bombs in it. Yeah, Nick's plane had yeah, bombs. Like, I tried to use them earlier, and I forgot which button it was, so it uh, didn't Oh, work. okay. Come on, Kim. We're leaving. No. No? No. Come on. This is our home. Kim, you just don't understand. I feel like we are just kidding. We're doing all of this, and now we have to go help with the luggage. Yeah, I, I gotta be honest with you. I don't want to carry his dirty underwear anywhere. No, yeah, I agree. Your grandfather built this place. You really want to turn your back on that? This so seems I, like a husband-wife discussion here. Uh, I don't really I'm just standing the there like... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, can, can I... Leave you and your wife with the crazy haircut alone for a little bit. And... You've seen the ultrasound. It's a girl. Like the one thing that you're just kind of in the middle of it. You don't know what to do. You're like, I, you're in the same room, but if you walk away, it makes a scene. If you don't, it's awkward. It's one of those, like, yeah. I don't know what to do. But I'm going to stare at you awkwardly and <laughs> not say a word. Why does she want to stay? I love you. Hell no. I would want to get the hell out. No kidding. This doesn't make any sense, woman. Well, deputy. I feel like you I should leave the room now. You can love her in a place that's not run by a cult and has bombs going out. Didn't we just have to shoot a bunch of people? I'm pretty sure there are dead cult activists on your porch. And you're telling me that oh, you're yeah, not going to leave? Oh, yeah, just 50. Oh, she'd rather clean them up. Maybe she eats people. Well, that would explain it's the a food source now. Shirt. Take care of him. 